Hello, this is Justin Seven. I saw a news blurb and I just felt I had to comment on it. As many of you may know, Gary Kaplan, former founder of Bet on Sports, uh, recently pled guilty. Uh, part of the terms of his plea agreement were he would serve 41 to 51 months in jail and he would forfeit $43.65 million. Uh, Kaplan was mugged in the Dominican Republic a few years ago and has been under house arrest since then. Now, one thing that uh, bothers me about this arrangement. Uh, Mr. Kaplan made close to $100 million off of the bet on sports operation. U.S. government orders that he forfeits $43.7 million. Roughly $16 million is currently owed to U.S. players because when uh, David Carithers was arrested in 2006, all the bet on, spite, bet on sports sites shut down and the players have not seen the, a penny of any of these accounts. So I'm looking at this uh, plea agreement. I see a couple things happen. I see Kaplan keeps about $50 million. I see uh, U.S. makes $40 million off the operation. And I see the U.S. players are stiffed out of $16 million. Now, if the U.S. government had the players' interests at heart, the U.S. citizens who have been robbed you know, when this company just disappeared, why didn't they order restitution? Why didn't they order that... Uh, Mr. Kaplan would pay off these accounts that are being held. Um, that's just not an interest of theirs. So, in this, uh, on the ongoing war against gambling, once again the U.S. has blown it.